Mo, you done with work? You've been working a lot lately. You okay? Hey, I'm good, thanks. Sorry, I know it's late. No worries. I'm already heading home, so... Oh, they're working you like a dog these days. Yeah, I know, right? Want me to talk to your boss for you? <laughs> <laughs> I'll pass, but thanks. We're right in the middle of the busy season, so... I just have to tough it out. Can you cheer me up when I get home? <laughs> oh, you. Sure thing. See you in a bit. Sarah, I won't be home today. I'm really sorry. Huh? Why? I made your favorite dish, beef stew. I'm really sorry. But my mom, she's not feeling well. What? Oh no. What's wrong with her? Oh, it's not that big of a deal. Probably just the flu. But I'm worried, so I'm gonna go visit her after work tonight. I'll come with you. I don't have work tomorrow or the day after, so I'm worried about your mom. But she told me not to tell you. Huh? Not sure why, but she probably doesn't want to be seen like that. You know how she is. And you two never really got along. Uh huh? Uh, I guess. I'll be fine on my own. Thanks, though. Sure. Travel safe. When are you coming home? Sunday night. What about our date? I know. I'm sorry. I'll make it up to you, I promise! It's okay. Just take care of your mother. Thanks, Sarah. Love you! Mo, you working overtime again? Huh? Wait, I thought I told you. Huh? I'm out of state right now. Huh? Mom has a doctor's appointment on Saturday, so... I gotta drive her there. I thought I told you this morning. You didn't tell me that. Really? Damn, I'm sorry. Ugh, I already made dinner. I'll be home on Sunday. Just put it in the fridge. But I bought you crabs. It was your birthday, so it'll go bad. Oh, I'm really sorry. I'll be back as soon as possible. Uh, whatever. How's your mother? She's fine. Don't worry about her too much. Okay. Drive safe. Sarah, you got a minute? Oh, hey, Mrs. Bennett. What is it? Oh, I told you not to call me that. How many times do I have to tell you? Sorry, but, uh... Samantha. Huh? Just call me Samantha, okay? Okay, but it's just that you're my husband's mother and... Oh, it doesn't matter. Uh, whatever. Listen, I wanted to tell you something. What? The pottery tournament is coming up soon. You're coming, right? Let's go together. I'll pick you up. Wait, Mrs. Bennett. I... Ah, uh -uh. call me Samantha. Right. But, uh, you should be taking it easy. Huh? Why? Mo told me. You're sick, right? You're at the hospital, right? Huh? Hospital? Me? Yeah. Uh, why would I be at the hospital? I'm perfectly fine. Huh? Uh, wait. Is Mo with you? Mo? 
Uh, no. He hasn't been home in a while. Why? Samantha? We need to talk. Can I come over to your house? Uh-huh. Uh, sure, I guess. Okay, see you soon. <laughs> Mo, you at your mom's house? Yeah, just got here. What's up? Oh, nothing. I just missed you, that's all. Can I call you? I just want to hear your voice. Oh, uh, I'd love to, but... Mom just fell asleep, so... I don't want to wake her up. I'll call you tomorrow, okay? I miss you too, babe. Yeah? Yeah. Sorry I haven't been home lately. No worries. You're a good son, taking care of your mother like this. Thanks. It's the least I can do, you know? Ah, oh, you're so kind. Oh, and I've been thinking... Huh? As you know, both of my parents are already dead. So your mother, she's like family to me. We got off on the wrong foot, but... I want to patch things up with her. Oh, I see. But, uh, it's fine, really. You two don't get along anyways. Don't worry about it. Wait, what? Your mother and I... We get along just fine. Huh? Really? Yeah. We got a common enemy now, so... Huh? Look, I'll see you at your mother's house. I'm coming over right now. What? Hold up! I'm worried about your mom. I want to help. Sarah? Pick up, please! Don't worry about my mom! I got this! No, I'm worried too, so... Oh, my phone is about to die. See you at the house! Sarah! Wait! Sarah? You there? Hello? Yeah? I'm at your mom's house. Look, I'm sorry I lied. I'm not with my mom. I know. Trust me. I know. You were lying to me all along. Look, it's not what it looks like. Please listen to me. I'm in Florida right now. What? I'm here on business. I wanted to tell you, but... We always talked about going to Florida together, so... I kind of felt bad. I'm really sorry. I should have just told you. But it's work-related. And I'm here with a dude, so... No worries. Here, I'll send you a pic if you don't believe me. Mo, you're an idiot. Huh? You think you can talk your way out of this? Think again. You screwed up bad. Sarah, listen to me. Don't waste your breath. I already called your office. They told me everything. What? What did they tell you? You called them? Yeah. I talked to your manager. He told me everything. You weren't working overtime. You liar. Wow. Hold on. You called my manager? For real? Yeah. Oh, and you're taking three days of paid leave next month, right? You told your boss that you're going on vacation for our anniversary? Hm, that's strange. Our anniversary was two months ago. And this girl at your office, she's taking paid leave on the same day. But that's just a coincidence, right? You're an idiot. Hold up. What the hell? Sarah! Why did you call my boss? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Oh, and your mom? She's furious. Look, let's talk about this. I can explain everything. Come on, let's meet up at home. I'm not going back. Your parents told me I could stay here for as long as I need to. They seem really upset, by the way. I kind of feel bad for them. I just got a call from my boss. 
even wants to talk to me first thing on Monday. I'm probably gonna get a demotion. Oh, that sucks. Screw you! This is all your fault! I was this close to my promotion! Uh-huh. My fault? You did this to yourself. Look, I didn't want to say this, but... I'm the one that puts food on the table. And it was my first time. Just let it go. Plus, if I get transferred, you'll have to move too, you know. Wait, hold on. You think I'm gonna stay with you? <laughs> How dumb are you? Huh? Wait, you're breaking up with me? Uh, yeah, duh. I've been saving up some money too, so... Huh? Wait, what? The pottery tournament last year? I got first prize. Then they asked me to be a judge, and... <laughs> I told you all of this. Wait, pottery? I thought that was your hobby. Uh, no. It's my job. That's how I became friends with your mother. <sighs> Anyways... I don't need your money. Plus, you'll have to pay me for damages, so I'll be fine. Okay, look. I'll pay. Just please don't leave me. And, uh, can you come to the office with me? I can't get a demotion. Please! Can you tell them this was just a misunderstanding? Please! Huh? I thought you didn't want me talking to your boss. I'm sure you'll be fine. Good luck. Wait! You got this! You can do it! Sarah! Oh, and one last thing. I know your company doesn't have an office in Florida, idiot. <laughs> Mo caught the first flight back from Florida. His father tore him apart and everyone at the office found out about his affair. He ended up getting transferred to some dead-end position in the middle of nowhere. And things got awkward for his mistress, too. She had no choice but to quit her job. When I first got married, I didn't get along with his mother. But she really helped me out this time. She's no longer my mother-in-law, but we still keep in touch. Anyways, time to move on with my life. <laughs>